Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. From deserts to dense jungles, war zones are rarely predictable or forgiving. That's about to change when ground troops need support from the sky in dangerous or inaccessible environments, and they have a new helper, the General Atomics Mojave Drone. With its short takeoff from rough terrain and high payload capacity, the Mojave represents a new generation of unmanned aerial vehicles. The aircraft was designed for harsh environments and therefore has a huge payload, combining the capabilities of the MQ-9 Reaper from the same General Atomics and the MQ-1C Grey Eagle, which gives it the versatility to perform direct expeditionary missions. The Mojave is the next step in air support for our troops, and in this video, we will take a closer look at it. But before we get started, if you enjoy this video and would like to see more just like it, remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get more sent straight to your notifications. The Mojave was developed to meet a specific growing need in modern warfare, the need for large-scale air support over uncooperative and volatile terrain where other larger UAVs simply cannot operate or operate with less efficiency. Drones such as the MQ-9 Reaper and MQ-1C Grey Eagle perform many vital functions, from high-altitude reconnaissance to precision strikes, but they are designed to fly from secure bases with long runways and reliable logistical support, and such bases are usually located deep behind front lines. In today's conflict zones, such amenities are rarely available, and even more rarely in remote, inaccessible, or otherwise disputed areas. The Mojave concept was born out of the realization that ground forces, special operations teams, and expeditionary units need close support from a drone that can carry significant firepower and can quickly be deployed even in the least suitable locations. First introduced in December 2021, the Mojave was designed to meet the needs of close air support and reconnaissance in combat zones that require adaptability. While most UAVs depend on long and well-maintained runways, the capability of the Mojave to take off with stall capability enables it to lift off from any opening in the ground, be it a beach island or an opening in a jungled area. It therefore becomes an indispensable tool for ground forces that are in dire need of rapid mobile support. The design details seem to incorporate some of the best features of General Atomics' Predator family of drones, especially the MQ-9 Reaper. Whereas the Reaper is optimized for high-altitude reconnaissance and combat missions, however, the stole configuration of the Mojave is optimized for low-altitude deployment. With its 1,200 shaft horsepower turboprop engine and 7,000-pound maximum takeoff weight, the aircraft can carry as many as 16 Hellfire missiles, nearly twice as many as the Reaper, and is designed to withstand the rigorous conditions associated with dirt roads and semi-ready runways. Thanks to the powerful 450 horsepower Rolls-Royce M250 turboprop engine, it can serve reliably in such harsh conditions, and the reinforced chassis with wide tires again confirms the unpretentiousness of the drone. But perhaps the most attractive thing about the Mojave is its transportability. It is transportable. Disassembled on a cargo plane the size of a C-130 Hercules, widely used by the U.S. military or similar, it is quick to deploy in unprepared fields and other harsh environments. A team of four persons can dismount, assemble, and prepare the airplane for a mission in one and a half hours, ready at any moment and at any place. The Mojave's large wings are equipped with sophisticated altitude enhancement devices such as forward slats, dual-slotted flaps, and ailerons that maximize lift without compromising stall performance, something that is not found on other UAVs of similar design for such missions. In addition to missiles, the Mojave is equipped with electro-optical sensors, synthetic aperture radar, and signal intelligence packages, as it is also designed as a platform for reconnaissance and armed reconnaissance, which is equally important in modern warfare. Its advanced sensor suite enables precise target tracking and provides near-real-time intelligence support. In addition, the ability to launch from hard-to-reach locations opens up opportunities in other areas, such as maritime operations. Deployment from aircraft carriers provides critical air support to naval forces, enhancing the capabilities of joint missions involving conventional and special operations forces. But to fully understand the benefits of the Mojave, it is necessary to look at its predecessors, especially the MQ-9 Reaper. 
This drone came into service in the year 2007. Reaper enhanced the capabilities of the MQ-1 Predator and immediately fitted into high-altitude reconnaissance and precision strikes. With its new avionics, Y-shaped tail, and 66-foot span, it let it stay aloft for more than 27 hours with a smaller payload and gather extremely valuable data several miles above the battlefield. While the Reaper too can carry Hellfire missiles, its design is better suited for high-level strategic support than close-range support that is provided by the Mojave. What really makes the Reaper unique, however, is that it is able to fly over very long distances without refueling. The Reaper has a maximum range of 1150 miles and endurance. It is suited for those long distance reconnaissance, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions in hostile space. It provides real-time targeting and reconnaissance, surveillance, and reconnaissance, hence assuring the skies of constant monitoring of military operations. As such, Reaper has become indispensable in most theaters of war around the world where intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions, or ISR for short, usually are tasked with gathering critical intelligence about the movements of enemy troops. In addition, you can be sure that even now, these spies are flying around the world somewhere and continuously collecting information around them, whether in Europe, the Middle East, or the Far East. But as good as the Reaper might be at the high-altitude reconnaissance, it lacked much of the stole capability and rugged design of the Mojave. Flying from semi-prepared runways or utilizing them for close-range, low-altitude support for that matter, is just not an option for the Reaper to provide. Thus, the Mojave was uniquely positioned to bring closer and make more agile the combat support afforded by the Reaper. But the Mojave story clearly underlines that this drone was developed to fill in the critical gaps, not only for Reaper. Thus, in this section of the video, we'll review previous experiences of UAVs such as the MQ-1C Grey Eagle. The Grey Eagle is the lead UAV within the arsenal of the US Army and has earned its reputation as a sure guardian of ISR missions. That robust UAV was designed to carry out medium altitude flights and long endurance. It is able to stay above critical areas for 25 continuous hours, armed with Hellfire missiles in order to destroy threats if that would be called for. Grey Eagle has open architecture. Operators can switch sensor sets or add specialized equipment as required, and that provides flexibility of military intelligence with strike capability. But worse still, the Grey Eagle's Achilles heel was dependence on traditional airfields. As fine as this made it for long-range reconnaissance and fire support, it could not do its stuff in rough terrain, meaning that this prohibited the Army from deploying it wherever it desired. Among other things, this limitation defined the Mojave concept to retain the versatility of the Grey Eagle and had a more robust design. In essence, the Mojave was developed to extend the reconnaissance capabilities of the Grey Eagle into the most inhospitable and hostile regions of the world, essentially where its predecessors could not go. On the other hand, the United States has the XQ-67A. This is quite an ambitious platform developed for the US military program Loyal Wingman. The concept is for it to be a high-speed, stealthy drone that works with manned aircraft, getting orders independently, and executing dangerous missions of electronic warfare and air-to-air -air combat. Unlike the Grey Eagle, XQ-67A was not designed to stay aloft for long periods of time or support ground operations, but it was designed to fly within airspace where fighter aircraft live to provide real-time support in air combat. This gives it great tactical maneuverability and stealth making it a very valuable asset in modern warfare. However, its mission priorities are completely different from those of the Mojave. In comparison, the Mojave sits right between these two specialized drones. It inherits the endurance and modularity of the Grey Eagle, but adds the ability to support ground troops in difficult, often unforgiving environments. Lacking the XQ-67A's stealth and fighter support emphasis, it makes up for it by bringing a tremendous amount of firepower, totaling up to 16 Hellfire missiles, serving as a pretty flexible reconnaissance strike platform. The Mojave will fly any mission from reconnaissance to close air support, taking off from dirt roads and ad hoc airstrips. Thus, Mojave bridges endurance and adaptability, creating a new category of UAV that embodies the best of both worlds. As the military's operational needs continue to evolve, Mojave is a testament to lessons learned from its predecessors, combining endurance, 
versatility, and reliability together. Mojave sets the next bar for drones that will eventually define the next era in the evolution of UAV technology. What are your thoughts on the Mojave drone? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get the latest and greatest videos straight to your notifications.